This video is about the broken out 12 millimeter F2, the autofocus version. This is my official first impressions of the Rokinon 12 millimeter F2. Um, before we get started, there are two versions of the Rokinon 12 millimeter F2, and that is the manual version and the autofocus version, but more on that later. The Rokinon 12 millimeter F2 is a small, compact, wide angle APS-C prime lens. The lens come in two mounts based on what I was able to find. You can get this lens in the Sony E mount for APS-C and the Fujifilm X mount, which is also APS-C. All right, now let's run through some specs, appearances, and ways you can use this lens. The Rokinon 12mm f2 is an 18mm full frame equivalent on the Fujifilm system. It has an aperture range of f2 to f22. It is equipped with a linear stepping motor which allows for quiet focusing. You can feel the focus motors moving in the lens but the lens is quiet. The Rokinon 12mm f2 is a rectilinear lens which means that although it is a wide angle lens there is little to no distortion which also means this lens is great for architecture and real estate. It might be a little tight for real estate photography coming in at 18mm. Real estate usually lives around 15 to 17mm but you might be able to get away with the 18 millimeters. This lens is perfect for real estate video. The lens has a minimalistic build coming in with only one ring, the focus ring. The focus ring is smooth, it feels dampened, which I think is great for pulling focus, especially if you're using a camera that has the ability to switch any lens into a linear focus lens with the setting in the camera like the Fujifilm X-H1. But since this is a linear focus lens, if you are using another Fuji camera or a Sony camera, and you want linear focus, then the lens is a linear focus lens, which is still great for pulling focus. The Rokinon 12 millimeter has a stealthy matte black design with a red ring around the lens hood attachment area, which you can only see when you are standing in front of the lens. Because of the wide angle field of view and compact size, this is a great travel lens for both photo and video. You can use it for vlogging, quickly snapping a photo of where you are, what you're doing, what you're eating and drinking and taking selfies. This lens is also weather sealed, so if you are out vlogging, capturing B-roll on a photo shoot or getting behind the scenes and it starts to rain or snow or whatever, you're all good. Especially when you're using a weather sealed camera, the combo with the two got you set on all fronts. But this lens comes in at 7.5 ounces, weighing less than a cup of coffee. And as I mentioned, there are two versions of this lens, the autofocus version and the manual focus version. The autofocus version only covers two mounts, the Sony E mount and the Fuji X mount. If it has been updated, do let me know down in the comments below. But the manual your focus version covers Canon EF mount, Micro Four Thirds, Fuji X, Sony E, and probably some other mounts. With the manual focus version, there is also a Cine modded version for those of you looking for an affordable Cine lens for your camera. Some things to look out for with the Rokinon 12 millimeter autofocus version is that in direct sunlight, you will lose a ton of contrast. It is highly prone to lens flares, which may be a downside to some, but I find it quite nice and stylistic, except for when you are standing in front of a lamp or something like that, and the light is shining directly into the lens and you get the little lens flares or the beads of light that just floats around the image. That is definitely annoying. So do keep a lookout for that. The Rokinon 12 millimeter on the Fujifilm X-H1 with the ProMist filter to reduce digital sharpness is what I use when I use this camera and lens combo for the videos on this channel. And you can watch this video right here to learn more about the Fujifilm X-H1 or the one that YouTube recommends. But if you wanna see more videos like this, do hit the like button. And I wanna thank you for subscribing and staying awesome. Stay awesome.